I'm very excited because I'm up in London this morning to visit the London Vision Clinic. We're going to find out if I'm eligible to have laser eye surgery so that I can row across the Atlantic without these. A um, bit apprehensive but also very excited. So we're going to go in and see what tests they've got in store for me today. I'll be rowing 3,000 miles from the Canary Islands to the Caribbean. I'll be battling against waves in all kinds of weathers and in lots of different types of elements, but hopefully also seeing some incredible things along the way, which is why it's time to see if I can get my eyes fixed. Don't move your head. Is the O reasonably round and clear like that? Yes. Brilliant. If you go back to the little letters, what's the very smallest you can see? Z H G or C S R. Great, so looking at everything we've done so far, Jess, I'm really delighted to say that it's looking like you're going to be suitable. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. marvellous, isn't it? Yeah, and it'll be amazing for the row. It's really good news. They've told me that I'm eligible for surgery. I'm feeling ecstatic right now, really. The surgery's booked for a month's time, which just gives me enough time to carry on rowing. Another day. Another foggy rowing session. So I've got some sea spray on my glasses and uh, can't currently wipe it off. So I'm back in London to meet with Professor Reinstein ahead of my surgery. Quite excited, uh, hoping he gives me the final go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go inside and meet him now. Well, the procedure itself is extremely easy. There's nothing for you to do. Does not hurt. You barely feel anything at all. It's a little strange, but I'm talking every step as we go, so nothing's going to surprise you. Mm -hmm. You're lying down. You're looking at a flashing light. You wait a few minutes, it's done. That's it. And there's nothing you have to worry about that you might do that's going to change the results. It doesn't matter if you cough or sneeze or blink or turn your head, whatever. It doesn't change anything. It, Stops the procedure, but it doesn't harm you. Yep. And pretty much every time, it's in, out, healed in a few hours. And I can just look at it at the end and tell you at the end if that's going to happen, because I can tell by looking. Very, very easy. It only takes a few minutes. Most people sit up and think that we haven't even started yet. So I've just had my consultation with Professor Reinstein. It went really well. He put my mind completely at ease. He answered all of my questions. I just feel like I'm ready now. So it's the night before my surgery. Feeling a little bit nervous, um, but definitely excitement is outweighing my nerves at this point. I'm just ready to get on that water, glasses free, and also just getting excited now, thinking beyond the row you know, for my whole life. I'm gonna get to be able to see without glasses and that's gonna change everything. So, everything gonna be described to you just as it's happening, no surprises at all. Everything's very, very easy. There, I'm just gonna block your view for a second. That's beautiful. So as you are looking straight, I'm just going to slowly bring this closer. So you're gazing into the sky. You're going to hear some, hear some noises. And then you're going to hear a little pop and feel a little pushing there. That's it. Perfect. Like before, like I said, a little pushing and pulling. Excellent. And just relaxing there. That's great. Excellent. So that's one eye done. So you did beautifully there. And let me now adjust the head to where I need it on the other side, yeah? So everything's going to be exactly the same again. Very, very good. Super. Beautiful. So Jess, that's the whole thing. Okay, so open your eyes, take a look. Well, listen, it was totally routine. So let me take you to the recovery. Thank yeah? you. So just hop off here. Just woke up after my first night after surgery. 
slept really well looking forward to getting the glasses off and seeing the consultant later so day one what's the best you can see there z h c s r okay well you, you see the line o h v c k a few lines up yes there? i see that <laughs> that's all you had to see this okay, morning good. yeah you're like four lines yeah. ahead <laughs> Okay, so everything's perfect. Perfect means, of course, it's day one, a little blurry still, that's the swelling in your cornea, you're looking through a fog glass. But even through that fog, you read down to the fighter jet pilot line. Yep. So you're making out the letters, yeah? It's gonna fluctuate, a little up and down for a few weeks, that's normal. You're legal to drive, you can go outside, you can shower, you can use the underground. From tomorrow, you can exercise. So you wanna do indoor rowing, that's totally fine because there's no moving parts, right? It's the keyhole procedure. I just had my post-op uh, meeting with Professor Reinstein. He's given me the go-ahead to get back to training as of tomorrow. So I'll be getting ready uh, for the Atlantic, which is actually only six weeks away now. I've been able to spot those if I was still wearing my glasses. So the sun is rising on day 42, and uh, I have just spotted Antigua. Without glasses, I might actually break something. The row was incredible. I loved it. Six weeks at sea was pure joy. The surgery was invaluable to me. My eyesight is impeccable. I think without this surgery, my experience on the Atlantic would have been completely different. When I was out at sea, I didn't think about my eyesight at all, which was an absolute blessing. And I can't thank London Vision Clinic enough for what they've done for me.